Welcome to Classic Car Cave. So as you can see, I've got the number plates at uh, of the insurance office uh, this morning. Um, there's actually a car show on Monday because it's a holiday here on Monday, and uh, we're going to take. I'm going to take the E-Type, and Amir is going to take the Cooper. So Refka tomorrow can give these a good clean up and inside do all the interiors as well. Uh, I'll be up in Vienna. I have to go to Vienna early quite early tomorrow and do some stuff with my wife but they need a really good clean these cars the dust is quite uh, quite bad on them you can see it oh, I'll do it here so you can see it there you go yeah so I'll get them both cleaned so this this registration here I keep all the year round and uh, this one uh, we take the car off the off the road for about five months of the year um, which cuts down the price. Uh, it's still insured, obviously, for theft and fire and damage or whatever. But if it's not on the road, it's not so high premium and it's because it's, they're quite expensive. Um, yeah, so I'll show you the... Um, I'll do a little clip of what it is. And then on Monday, when we go to the show, I'll do some film in there. Hopefully it's a good event. A guy told me that there could be up to a 1,000 cars, but we'll see. Well, cars and tractors and that kind of stuff, you know, because it is a rural area where we live, farming area. So this is the car show uh, we're going to go to on on Monday. Uh, you can see there. Some nice American cars there. They're all in this local area. Yeah, There's quite a lot of cars. Should be good. So I'll do the video and I'll put it up Monday night or Tuesday, whatever. And uh, hopefully there'll be some interesting stuff there. Side one, as you can see, we had the you know, chrome done and, and he had the glass made. It's proper auto glass, but made down in Bosnia. It was actually half the, fr fact, half the price of what it cost to get it from the UK. Plus there would have been problems with uh, taxes and God knows what. But he's had to do, you can see the runners here and you can see how shiny they are. Well, hopefully you can see how shiny they are, the brass. Um, because there's a lot of overspray on them. Again, you can see here. So they'll have just a little bit of light, uh, clear grease on them. And it's only for the for the ends, really, that's going into that part anyway. So, but you he really had to get them absolutely straight so they're not jerky or not, you know, on the cranking handles. The, the Speedo's in now. That's looking really good. We've got... Um, we're getting there and then we can work on this on this top uh, and glue in these hockey stick sides um, and then we can put this velcro and this new seal back on because what we're going to do is set the seal up and then find the find these holes exactly where they are and then punch the holes in it and that, because the seal goes right over the top of all this you don't see any of that so that'll be the next job but he's just using the silicon there to so you can see this is the slides we're talking about these are original windows but uh, uh, sorry the original frame but they were cleaned and re-chromed so it's that piece there and that bit there that's going on the slide and obviously what he's doing now is just cleaning this so you don't see any of it but i don't think it comes up that high anyway does it oh, well, we I mean, it comes to about here doesn't it yeah. Just really nice. so, so just look, make it look nice. With the XK, we had a bit of bother with the um, with the windows. Um, the mech, this was too far over to one side. You can see how, how short it is there, but it was too far to. It was in the middle, and then it wasn't going into the runners properly. It was it was getting caught on the the stops as the stop goes in here, and it was getting caught on that, and the runner could come out. So we had to move it. And then Amir went upstairs, found the old windows that are really badly scratched, and and this is still on them. And uh, he uh, he could see well, he could it wasn't on them with the original ones, but he could see where the marks were. And then he measured it, and then uh, uh, put it on, and now it winds up and down beautifully. Uh, again, the chrome is not on yet. He's going to do that tomorrow. But you can see there's the. And if you can see, you can see the way the, the windows are beautifully done. They actually come up into the corners, and obviously that chrome uh, strip goes in there now. The hockey stick, which you'll do tomorrow. 
That's it. Yeah. Excuse me. Sorry about that. It's automatic. Um, yeah. Sorry about that. So uh, when you open it, I'll just show you the the, uh, the winding mechanism. You see how uh, uh, nicely it goes down. A lovely shape. They're going to be a bit hard initially, but they're pretty good. And they got to, because what we've got to do now, and as I said, you can see how it's shaped to the door. I'll put that chrome in there now, but we have to get these right for the top of the uh, hood, the canvas. Um, one of the other jobs we've done as well is um, we have to rebuild this. They call it starter carburetor, but it's actually a starter solenoid on one of the carburetors. It gives it a bit more juice to get it going, and then it goes off. It's a bimetal spring, and it goes off when it's when it's hot. So that needed repairing. We've now got the speedo cable in. Um, and there's a bunch of other small jobs that have got to be done. But once these windows go in, we can then start finishing up the... You can see the... the um, dash there. We're going to finish up the dash. The wiper motor's got to go in. That end cap's got to go on there. It was, it was scuffed and we're going to redo it. Um, and then we can get this hood, get, try and start getting this hood fitted and all this other bits. So hopefully by the time they leave this trip, we should we should be pretty much there. So um, what I'm going to do now is, is there's bolts holding. So there's this frame, this is the top frame, and then there's a base frame that goes down onto the chassis. You can see where it's bolted there and at the other end and in the centre there. So what I'm going to do is just take these these bolts out here. and then use it as a platform to put the wood on. You see this one's here. And they've got rib nuts in, in the box sections. So it's pretty uh, it's pretty much like a Meccano set. A big ball Meccano set. Uh, and then that can move off. You can lift that whole thing off. But I'll use it as a bed to get this done. And uh, I have to take these off, of course, because that's holding that one. But yeah, and you can see they're the same the other side. Each one of these has got a has got a riv nut in it. So I'll put this back on, lay it all out, and start putting the uh, wood on. Well, that's a basic uh, look at it. I've I've only screwed down these three planks as well. They're so long. Well, I've got to cut them off here, but I wanted to secure them across here, as you can see. And nice and solid and I've put the rest in um, they seem to line up all right on that marker what's really <laughs> unbelievable is um, the spacing has come out spot on there's the edge there and there's the last plank and all these are now ten and a half these gaps for these I had to just put these these in just to just to check it out but it, well, it comes right onto the line how, how lucky is that Couldn't have worked out better. So, tomorrow, uh, well not tomorrow because I'm going to Vienna, but uh, over the weekend I'll make up the two sides. <clears throat> Obviously these have to be cut down, but they're only going to come to here of course. And then this um, wheel well will go in there, spare wheel well first, and then these will go over the top of it. They're just laid on at the moment. I just wanted to get them all cut to, to size. And obviously I'll bring these back and cut them wherever they are, bring these ones forward and unfortunately they won't be big enough to use, but which is a twat because they're about eight euros each or something. But I think they're going to look nice, I think that's really going to suit the back of the truck. And you look at the bed and you see from the side, I think that's going to look really nice. Quite pleased with that, and obviously the boards on the on these sideboards will be the same. The only thing I've got to do there is I've got to put uh, a piece on the inside here 
to put the last screws at either end or otherwise they'll flap around. Uh, at the moment these have got four points where they're secured and they'll be secured at the end here. Right on the end because obviously this is, you can see this is a just a piece I put on here with a tie wrap. You can see that sits right up to the end. And then the boards will go up here. And same thing. Yeah. Good start. It's pretty square, I was surprised. I, I, I did do a lot of jigging up with it to make it right, to make sure it was square. But um, anyway, so there we are. There's enough room now to get the side on here. And it sits in, the, in that gully perfectly. That'll obviously have to be painted uh, separately. And uh, yeah, pleased.